Monitoring System Functions Other Functions of Monitoring System In this section, we introduce other functions of the monitoring system. First is Configuration Management. In the Configuration Management interface, it can be designed. In order to realize the proper physical environment and physical equipment monitoring and management, engineers need need to set up logical equipment in the monitoring system. In the monitoring system, this kind of physical environment is called a domain. When adding a device, you must configure some parameters, such as the IP address, port, user, and so on. Then, you test whether the connection is normal. After a management domain is created, you must observe some rules. For example, in the root domain, you can create a park, building, container, and room. In a room, users can create a modular within which they can create devices. A modular cannot be deleted directly if there is a device in it. The device must be deleted first. Next, Let's talk about the work order management function. This function supports creating a work order and assigning personnel to handle faults within a specified time. For example, when an alarm is generated, a work order must be created to distribute the task of dealing with it. When the engineer re receives the processing requirement, they need to reply, transfer, or return the work order to the distributor. In the corresponding query inter interface, users can query work orders to be processed. They can see the work orders that have been completed and can set rules of work orders. For example, they can set the work order name, processing time, and warning time. By user and group information configuration, the telephone number and email address are set in advance for each processing person. This allows message and email notification. The rules can also define the urgency of the work order. Licenses are used to control monitoring system resources and functions. According to monitoring system routine checks, engineers ensure that licenses meet daily business requirements. License information includes effective expiration date, reminder time before expiration, license usage date, and so on. If the resource utilization rate exceeds the alarm threshold, the system generates a license resources have reached or exceeded the threshold alarm. Then, the engineer needs to deal with it. Next, let's talk about the remote notification function. Alarm notification messages are sent to the user according to the set remote notification server parameters. For example, when setting the email parameters, users need to get the parameters of their email server, such as its IP address and port number. When setting a short message server, users need to set the domain name, IP address, and server port. A remote notification user can be added to the remote notification user group, which can have the same group privileges. Now, let's look at the software management function. Device software management refers to the upgrading of the software for different devices. The software upgrade process mainly involves preparing the target software package version, uploading it to the server, creating the upgrade task, and loading and activating the new version of the software package. The upgrade task interface allows users to create upgrade tasks, start upgrade tasks, delete upgrade tasks, and so on. Next. Let's look at the running device logs so we can understand the device operations. Users can download collected running logs of devices locally. Finally, 
Let's look at the asset management function. In the monitoring system, it provides information for the managed equipment, asset query, and statistical function. It also supports importing, modifying, and deleting assets. In asset management, users can query device asset reports by setting conditions according to the management domain, device type, responsible person, and department. Users also can view the stock information of the corresponding management domain and equipment and can query asset report data. It also supports setting management domain and device category filtering to collect device asset usage statistics, which can be viewed by users. In addition, it supports statistics and analysis of the device asset change process. That's all for this section. Thank you.